Hi, I'm Ben from Sony, and today we're at Guildford Castle looking how different types of lenses can give you different results at a beautiful location such as this. Cameras normally come with a standard kit lens, which zooms from a wide angle, getting lots in the shot, up to around about a portrait distance. But what happens when we don't have so much room to manoeuvre ourselves? Or what happens when we want to get even more in the shot? That's when wide-angle lenses such as this come into play. This is our E-mount 10-80mm f4 lens. Let's see what this can do for us. So I want to take a picture of the castle. First of all, I'm going to try with the standard kit lens. I'm going to zoom it out to a wide angle and see what I get. Now we're going to take the same shot with the wide angle lens. Here we've taken this shot with the standard kit lens zoomed out to its widest angle. And you've seen it's done quite a good job. We've managed to get the whole of the castle in and even some of the flowers in the foreground. With the wide angle lens, you can see we get even more in the shot. So not only the castle, but we can incorporate all of this flower arrangement in the foreground. And on top of that, you get a much greater sense of depth that's only possible with wide angle lenses. Now, we're going to look at close-up photography. Of course, the standard kit lens has certain capabilities when it comes to taking pictures of fine detail up close, but there are dedicated macro lenses which are specifically designed for this purpose. Here, with such beautiful subjects as insects and flowers, we're going to see what difference it makes taking a shot with a standard kit lens and taking a shot with a dedicated macro lens. In this shot taken with the standard kit lens, we've been able to get relatively close to our subject, but we've not been able to get extremely close, seeing the very fine details. Using a dedicated macro lens, you can get much more close to your subject, enabling you to see amazing details, such as the hair on the bee's legs here. So as you can see, macro lenses can produce really stunning effects. We're going to look at telephoto lenses now. These are lenses which bring distant subjects close to you and are really useful for things like sports photography and wildlife photography. There's a flag at the top of the castle and I'm going to take a photograph with the standard kit lens and also with this 55 to 210 telephoto lens as well. Then we'll see what difference we get between the two shots. In this photograph, we've taken the standard kit lens and we've zoomed it in as far as it can go. While it does bring the subject a lot closer to us, we're still getting a lot of the castle and the blue sky in, as well as the flag. With the telephoto lens, we've zoomed right in on the flag. You can even see the text written on it. And it gives you an idea of how good telephoto lenses really are for helping you get that shot of a distant subject. So we've seen that there are different types of lenses which are suitable for different types of photography and they can offer you more than just your standard kit lens. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite lens is and what type of photography you use it for. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the icon in the top right hand corner and to subscribe, click on the button below.